Hello, it's Sarah. I'm back. I just wanted to share the finished bee scaps. I'm just varnishing them. Um, I don't know if you can tell on camera. This is satin varnish. It's not quite dry yet, but this one isn't varnish. Well, it is. It's got the spray matte varnish on it. I'm just going to finish this up and then I'll so all I'm doing, and I'm just being quick with it, because I had some of the black ink pull on me when I did the other B, and I could have sworn I sprayed it. I took them out and sprayed them. Anywho, um, in, the la in my previous video, I did a little painting with you guys. All right. And uh, these are so much more... Um, basic these are a little more realistic right like you can do totally tell the difference um that being said they're just both delightful um so let me show you in the previous video this one i put the b oh geez good it stayed on because i put it up on a little um you can kind of tell maybe at that angle i'll come down I'll show you though. I had Joe cut me out these little circles and then I when I glue the bee down I just put the little circle behind it. Kind of fits right on top of his body like that and then I, I glue them together but that keeps him a little bit off the surface so it's like dimensional like this one which I noticed on my this one. I, it must have, his wings were kind of pushed down, so I don't know what I did, but you got to be careful when they're um, lifted up a little bit, but you can see, see that? And then there's shadow underneath. Um, so I only did one of them lifted and the other one I left. Um, and they're just drying, but this one is just glued right to the board instead of um, but you can see that satin sheen. That was nice. See that? They don't have that with the spray. It's very matte. So, obviously, I mean, th and that's why I put the satin on. They just give it, I like the sheen. I think it makes the ink pop a little better, too. And then you'll see. But he came off. So I had to, like, just, I'm just trying to really leave it. And it probably would be wise to, um, because these, if I do make wind chimes, in the previous video I told you that I was thinking of the next batch. And honestly, they turned out far better than I thought when I first started painting them. And, and if you watch the previous video, you'll see what I'm talking about. But um, if I plan on putting little sun catcher beads, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, and it all started because in Tracy's, this one, where is it? This one. She just simply put a little bee charm at the bottom of hers. It looks like she even just used a, um, a head pin to kind of attach it to the bottom. Because they are, um, they're considered ornaments. I'm just making sure my camera's plugged in because um, I was getting a charged battery. But anyway, um, it just made me start, I just started thinking about all the cute things that I could dangle from this. Even if it's just simple little, five little beads, you know, even if it's a magnet, I don't know if you could really dangle things from it. So, these will be posted um, in the description where I got the patterns. Next, I'm moving on to, this is uh, going to be, let me see, I have it here. Here it is, Just Be My Phone Stands. I'm so excited because, but I, these should work up really quick too. And I think I might just paint the bees onto the back because, oops, sorry, I'm not even in the shot. Because when you put your phone on here, I'm just going to pull mine into view. This isn't the B one. This is a, a sugar skull. You kind of want it to be flat 
you know if I put a dimensional B on here I think I could still do it I'll decide when I get when I get when I get done um, and that's it I just wanted to show you what the finished ones look like because they were looking a little rough but they look good I think I signed my name I wrote my name so I am going to have Joe cut me some more and next video I'll make some bead angles some little what am I trying to say I have all these cute beads bead dangles probably just stick with um, amber tones look at that gorgeous even if I just had that you know all right that's it you guys thanks for watching